Hey butterflies, welcome back to Evolving Butterfly with me, Monaco. Here we are all about evolving out loud in our life, our money, and our purpose. I want to thank y'all for your likes, comments, shares, and subscribe to on the channel. It is always appreciated and a major shout out to all the channel members as well as the members over on my website. Thank you for your continuous support here on the channel. If you're interested in any extra content or my any of my teas, smoke blends, candles, all of that jazz, check out the links and things down below in the comments, okay? So this message is for if you have been seeing 222 lately, okay? So <clears throat> those who are not strangers to my channel, y'all know the whole vibe between the ducks and the geese, right? So when I went out to go feed um, this morning, y'all can kind of still hear them out there. <clears throat> the ducks and the geese were eating together um and as soon as i got like excited one of the geese like tried to like run off the other you know it's a family with the five teenagers and then it was another one then it was my two uh ducks that always come or whatever and so like watching them you know had a little moment i felt spirit say this is an energy for two 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 um, collaboration and working together um, and finding ways to work together <laughs> despite your difficulties or despite like different stances on things or even coming back together after having a dispute because after the goose that ran off the few they came right on back and they ended up eating so it's just like yeah they just had that little dispute but it was more so because they felt I think that Goose felt the other ones was like impeding on his boundaries, you know? So, if you have been have, seeing 222 and having interesting dreams or just seeing 222 in general, this is going to be a reading for you to kind of see what's been going on and like what's the vibe to work out through it, okay? So, you got the strength card that's coming out. So, there has been some energy around you that's been forcing you to have to like be strong or look at things from like a strict type of lens <clears throat> even if you haven't wanted to um you've had to change your perspective of something because it's kind of like i'm getting the vibe of like i've had i had no choice but to do this like how sometimes um people put in like difficult situations they're like you know i had no choice but to be strong i had to be strong you know what i'm saying and so it's given that vibe that you've been in a situation where you feel like you've had no choice but to be strong or to stand up for something, okay? Or to just withstand and get through it. It's like showing this different level of confidence within yourself, okay? Yeah, the five of scepters. It was definitely some type of battle energy, some type of fighting um, disagreements, okay? So you've had no choice but to be strong through this incident. It's like, it's given the vibe of, you know, be like, oh, well, be strong, get through it. And it's just like, well, I really ain't got no choice but to get through it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's either I get through it or I let this take a hold of me. You know what I'm saying? And so I feel like a lot of you all have been in a space where you're just like, I'm doing what I got to do to get through all of this, Okay. I'm doing what I got to do, period. Like, this is just what I got to do. This is just what I got to do. I just felt the need to get some sage popping and going, y'all. It's something about with this energy that was like, even with it, like what was coming your way. It's giving a vibe of uh, off and on like y'all have good moment then bad moment good moment then bad moment here there here there you know what i'm saying and it's giving a vibe of like <clears throat> being tired of it you know being tired of the back and forth of it all three of aunts it's like a group so it may be a group of people, a group of like a few friends or a few people at like work or something, or just like a few people that's just like, they, they tippy toeing on your mother freaking nerve. Like they getting on your nerves. Okay. They tippy toeing on your nerves. But I feel like there's a way to like, 
make it all work though. Like it feels like there's a way to make it all work. I'm hearing for the time being, okay? Ace of Scarabs in the reverse with the Warrior of Swords in the upright. Someone is gonna have to put, it's not their pride, but put like their inhibitions or like their wants to the side in order for the collaboration to work. Like someone has to, it's feeling compromise vibes, okay? Compromise what someone thought would be the push of what's needed to go forward and be like, you know what? We're, we can try a different way, okay? But this Ace of Scarabs in the reverse with the Warrior of Swords. Someone is gonna have to be okay with like putting the reward on the back burner. But it's gonna make things go faster though. Like, it's like, just let's just get through this. It's giving that vibe. Let's just get through this. I don't have a dog in this fight. I'm not trying to be your friend. I'm not trying to like, let's just get this done, okay? That's all I really have time for or all I really care to do in this moment, okay? And so Spirit is just saying, don't go in with like trying to make these friends or find um, this big value in this relationship. You should just know that that big value was not there. You just there to work to get this done and to get out. And the faster you just get in to just do your work, the faster you get done and the faster you'll be able to just be done with it. Like, <clears throat> yeah, Ten of Swords. This Ten of Swords energy is interesting after this warrior of swords because it's like someone doesn't want to feel a level of defeat but someone still may feel a level of defeat you know and it's not it's just a level of pride like the pride is gonna have to be defeated your son is gonna have to you know what i'm saying be settled is gonna have to you know fall first in order for this to come about and happen. So someone is going to have to put their ego on the back burner. They're not going to be able to get their way. And it's like, who's going to be the person? Or is it that both of you have to compromise <clears throat> something in order for this partnership or relationship to work? Um, Scribe of Anx, this is giving a sense of like peacemaker energy, finding your inner peace. So both of you all need to be having your own like practices and things of what you're doing to find your peace. And I know that's something that I've messed up on in the past, baby, because when I'm to the point where I'm just triggered, triggered, baby, I'm get, I need to get up out of there. OK, I need to get up out of there before it's turned into, you know, some other stuff, you know. And so it's like we do have to we want to be able to find that that peace that we can that we can create for ourselves, at least for the time being, to get to the end of the, the mission, to get to the end of the vision of what you're working on so that you can just make that exit, okay? This is definitely a vibe of like finding your peace in the midst of the storms. Finding your peace in the midst of the storms, you know, especially when dealing with groups of people yeah, warrior scares where it seemed like change is taking a long time to come about. But it's given a vibe of like, although it may have taken a while for change to come about, it doesn't mean that it's going to take forever, though. And it's been a long time coming. And I know a change going to come. Okay, so a change is definitely in the works right now. Okay. But it comes from you watching your time and how you spend your time and what you value with your time, okay? Three of Scarab's energy. It also comes from who you take, who you learn from, watch who you learn from. So you know how people can be on the job or they're on a, um, you know, even start a new job and they pick up the bad habits of other employees who are there. It's just giving a vibe of 
whatever situation you're in, like watch who you learn from, who you watch, okay? Watch who you watch. Watch who you are getting mannerisms from. You know what I'm saying? Because you want to make sure it's in alignment. Warrior of Scepters. It's giving a sense of, this is just really giving me a vibe of like knowing what you're there to do, fulfill the mission and get it done. Okay. Because this is conjoining the Ace of Scares in the reverse with the Warrior of Swords. Like, it's really because those are the two fastest warriors in the deck. So it's like, let's just get in here, get this done. Let's remember why we're here. And then let's just dip out. Like, Hmm. I'm getting a sense of you. You may have like one or two trusted people around you that you can like converse with to like help you process through things. So don't feel like you're all alone with figuring all of this out as well. Um, yeah, you have the Ace of Anx that's coming out. So it's like right after the ending of this thing, like, you know how we had that Ten of Swords and all of that right after the ending of all of this is going to put you back into a fertile type of energy where like i'm hearing d'angelo and lauren hill nothing even matters after that nothing even matters after all like nothing matters anymore it's all done we're now in this like abundant open energy i'm a free agent or whatever the case is or it could just be after this storm y'all are in this new a new way of being, a new type of relationship, okay? A new level of companionship. So it may just be that y'all had to get out of this. So you know how when people going through stressful times in their lives, you know what I'm saying? And it's like when they're going through those stressful times in their lives, it's like really hard for them to work through some things, right? And so dark times come. They may even get, you know, depressed or whatever. Um, but once they get out of that, they're back to being like their regular self, quote unquote. And so this is giving that vibe, like after getting through a stressful, difficult time, that's very triggering, um, being able to come out in a different type of position. Okay. Six of onx at the bottom of the deck in the reverse. So changing the trajectory of the relationship. Yeah, but somebody still is going to be walking away. <laughs> It's like through all of this, it's been a long time coming and still choosing to like walk away in some way of going into something different. And even if this is a partnership, that walking away doesn't have to mean um, breaking up with a person, okay? And I do want to, this is a good time to remind us all, um, take what resonates, you know, and leave what does not resonate for those that it belongs to. Do not try to make anything fit. This is for affirmation or confirmation of things that you have already been feeling, okay, and sensing. This is for you to bring in and add your power to it too. And so when looking at the Six of Swords, on top of the Scribe of Anx and the um, Warrior of Scarabs, it's like finding your peace in like the process and knowing when it's time to like move on to the next steps of the process, you know? Cause those next steps is going into that three of scarabs energy of learning something new, doing something different. Um, two of scepters in the reverse. So it may just be doing something different, but in the same, so if it's a job situation, um, doing something different, like in a different department, same business, but different department. Or re if it's a relationship, same relationship, just elevated to a new level, like learning something new about each other, okay? It's like, don't have too much of a wandering eye while working through what you're working through. Yeah, with the construction. While certain things are under construction, you don't wanna have too much going on at the same time. It confuses things.
the almond rod this is the sense of someone needs to take responsibility for their personal actions and the role that they've played in situations as well though so it's like make sure that everyone that is involved is taking responsibility for what they've done and like it's given also of like really paying attention to where you may have learned different things from as well like some people may be coming to find that they learn some of these negative behaviors from like a parent figure or something or some of these bossy type of characteristics may be coming um from what someone saw like they just saw all of this growing up so that's just what they know you know so someone has to learn how to have a different level of approach you know when i look at this warrior of scepters with the um ace of aunts is giving a vibe of like water it down a little bit right let's help calm it down a little bit so like someone with adhd what can we do to you know help calm you down a little bit to be able to cope a little bit differently with what's going on The world card, yeah. You have a lot that's gonna be offered to you in the future, but it's like this little hurdle is actually gonna help you with, I'm hearing like for information for the future. So play it out how it needs to be played out. And don't walk away from something too soon is what I'm getting. Yeah, the hermit card in the reverse. Don't walk away from something too soon. Don't go into this hermit mode and um, pull your, yourself away from something too soon. Because something may be being missed in this partnership. Because to see both of these like somewhat Aries energy, but the two of scepters is in the reverse this time. So it's like... Okay, let's put a little bit of a break on this, you know. Let me not go too far, you know. Let me not take it too far. Um, yeah, Ten of Scepters in the reverse. Let me not take it too far because if somebody takes something too far, they will hurt someone's feelings, okay. And someone is healing from some, like I said, someone is healing from some things from um, a toxic, I'm hearing, childhood that they still need to work through. It's given a level of confidence, you know what I'm saying? But I'm hearing if I ruled the world, so somebody need to be building up that confidence, whatever it is, building up that confidence on what they can do and what they can accomplish. Because with this emperor and this world energy coming out together, it's like the world is your oyster. You can create and do whatever you put your mind to. Yeah, the four receptors. And so you're in the process of creating a strong foundation for something. And Spirit is saying, don't ruin that. Don't ruin this foundation that you have brewing in front of you. Okay. What we have out here so far, we have Leo, Aries. With the world is kind of like everything with that one. Um, we got Virgo. I'm also seeing some Leo, Aquarius, Gemini, Lib well, yeah, a little bit of Libra, Cancer. It's some of everything out here, okay? It's some of everything out here, but it's a lot of first house, fifth house, tenth house. And sixth house energy out here. All right, so these hidden feelings and thoughts are going to be coming to the surface once someone feels a burden has been lifted off of them. Um, because with the nun in reverse and the ten of scepters in reverse, and then to have the moon card, it's like there being some hidden feelings that haven't been spoken um, out in a situation that needs to be spoken. Um, now, some may choose to not speak out and say it, okay? Because we got the Seven of Swords that is coming out here, okay? So someone may choose to just keep some of those feelings and thoughts to themselves and they are gonna allow this 
foundation to be built on a lie, you know, and if they choose to do that, they need to understand um, the role that they play in this situation, right? But some are going to choose to be honest um, in the situation and what they need and how they feel. And they're going to find that it gives them a different response, you know, because the 10 of scepters in reverse with the four scepters in the upright. And then you have the seven of swords on top of that. It's kind of like, oh, I'm going to, I'm not going to be honest about the things that's bothering me. Um, and so I'm going to let this foundation be built on a lie. Yep, six of scarabs coming out in the reverse on top of the moon and the seven of swords. So then in turn, someone is not giving what someone else deserves. And so this is why people need to be open and honest with first themselves so that they can be open and honest with other people, okay? Because with this, these hidden feelings of the moon and then the falseness of the seven of swords and then you have the six of scarabs in the reverse, it's like someone not giving all the details about something and it's like this whole foundation is going to come crumbling anyway you know so the advice let's get to the advice we're going to do some advice and then we what is the advice for the collector i'm hearing focus on what you need to get done but let's get a card the tower so the and the tower and the death you know what you need to end and what you need to keep that's the advice you know what you need to end and you know what you need to keep and you need to change some things around um so that there can be some balance so that you can get to that temperance energy okay some things need to be balanced out some things need to be changed around. It needs to be a new sheriff in town, okay? Um, some new, I'm hearing, not restrictions, but like boundaries need to be put into place for this to work out the way that it needs to work out, you know? Because like, you know, the tower and the death, Something has to end for something else to begin and work out. So that's the vibe, y'all. Um, whew, that's the vibe. Let me get us a goddess oracle. Did I bring my goddess oracle book? Oh, it's right here. <clears throat> no, that's the wrong one. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Let me put some pimpini. Pimpini. I gotta make sure I got my goddess oracle book, y'all. It's not, yeah, I didn't have it right there. And I don't recall moving it from over here. Oh, here it is. I was about to say, I didn't move it from over here. It was under a deck. <laughs> I stayed losing stuff and it'll be right in front of me. Okay, Spirit, what message do we have for the collective? The Urzuli Dantour Etheric Courts. Oh, I already know how this is about to pop off, honey. This is card number 27. Ooh, and it's right before Saturn return, honey. The goddess of etheric courts within Haiti. She fought elbow to elbow with her people during the Haitian revolution to protect mothers and children. She represents the healing of the dark mother. Her guidance. If it isn't wholehearted love, release it. Remember your worth. The embodiment. The energy cords binding you and someone you no longer wish to be attached to are strong. You must be willing to let go. Close your eyes. See divine swords of God or goddesses loving light separating you and dissolving the cords between you. 
you are both whole and healed. Just as you shower to cleanse physical grime, there is also grime in the form of energy cords, also called karmic ribbons, emotional cords, or etheric cords. Spiritual maintenance is required. The goddess declaration, I am worthy, compassionate, and whole. The cord is cut. If you claim this, time it down below. If that cord is cut from this moment moving forward, I am worthy, compassionate, and whole. The cord is cut. I love you all. And as always, always be real, always be true. Don't be afraid to do what you want to do, period. Have a great one, my loves. Bye.